Hello children, welcome back for discussion of previous year questions. Fill in the blanks. So 2020 to 2016. So let's start. The polar covalent compound in gaseous state that does not conduct electricity. Polar. So carbon tetrachloride and methane are non-polar. So the ammonia should be answer. Leave the one circled with red ink because they are not part of syllabus for 2023 question paper. An alkali which is which completely dissociates into ions. See ammonium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide, lithium hydroxide. Lithium is in group one. Group one elements, their oxides and hydroxides, they will be forming alkali solution. So therefore, this is the answer. Calcium and ammonium hydroxide are weak. An alloy used to make statues, bronze. So not at over. See there are another three marks questions. So these are easy to get five marks fill in the blanks okay complete the following by selecting the correct option ph of acetic acid is greater than dilute sulfuric acid so acetic acid contains dash concentration of h plus ions so we know greater the ph value uh, smaller will be the h plus concentration what they are asking here ph of acetic acid is greater than sulfuric acid then obviously it contains low concentration of H plus ions or simply you should remember acetic acid is weak acid the indicator which does not change color on passage of HCl gas is methyl orange changes its color moist blue litmus changes its color phenolphthalein remains colorless so phenolphthalein the acid which cannot act as an oxidizing agent Sulfuric acid concentrated acts as oxidizing agent. Concentrated nitric acid also acts as con uh, oxidizing agent. So it should be concentrated HCl. HCl can act as only acid. One more is given in your 2020 question paper. Copy and complete. This is very simple. Alkenes are homologous series of alkene is unsaturated along with alkyne. Their chemical or general formula is CnH2n. This is for alkene. Alkenes undergo addition reaction, unsaturated substances, hydrocarbons undergo addition, not substitution. Substitution will be by which one? Alkenes. Reactions and also undergo hydrogenation. Hydrogenation is a type of addition reaction where we add hydrogen to alkenes or alkynes. Okay, so this is 2020. Next, 2019. Conversion of ethanol to ethene. So this is dehydration process. You just remove the water from ethanol using the dehydrating agent concentrated sulfuric acid. You will get ethene. So this is dehydration. Sodium chloride is heated with concentrated sulfuric acid below 200 degrees Celsius. So this is the formation of HCl. So below 200 degrees Celsius you will get sodium hydrogen sulfate. Above 200 degrees Celsius you will get sodium sulfate. You don't get chlorine. Ammonia reacts with excess chlorine. Very important. Okay, many times I told you ammonia plus chlorine. Okay, when they simply react ammonium chloride plus N2. This is excess ammonia if you are using. Okay, but if you are using excess chlorine, chlorine in excess, you will get NCl3 plus HCl. So NCl3 is what? Nitrogen trichloride. So that should be your answer. Ammonium chloride is for first case. Nitrogen is also first case. Okay. Substitution reactions are characteristic reactions of alkanes. Period 3. Most element, sorry, most metallic element is sodium, magnesium, aluminum. So they are in the same period. So across the period, what happens? Metallic nature decreases across the period. So, sodium is the most metallic among these. Go to the next one. This is not fill in the blanks, but it's, I can say this is a type of that. Okay. So, I just to, uh, taken these also. The catalyst used to oxidize ammonia, that is platinum. They can also give it as a fill in the blank. The organic compound which when solidified forms an ice-like mass. So, this is acetic acid. What is the IUPAC name? Ethanoic acid, acetic acid or ethanoic acid. 
the dilute acid which is an oxidizing agent so that is dilute nitric acid dilute nitric acid dilute sulfuric acid is not oxidizing agent hcl is not at all oxidizing agent okay so here this is also i consider as fill in the blanks only okay ammonia name of the process ammonia what is the process haber's process okay sulfuric acid what is the process manufacturing process contact process catalytic equation with the catalyst they have asked for ammonia what we need we need nitrogen and hydrogen don't forget to write the reversible reaction symbol catalyst what we are using here in ammonia finely divided ion molybdenum will be your promoter okay so what you are getting ammonia gas balance this three here two here done sulfuric acid see since they only ask with the catalyst i am just mentioning the catalyst sulfuric acid contact process ha in this catalytic equation is the step where you are oxidizing so2 into so3 this is also reversible okay and uh, in contact process what we are using catalyst v2o5 vanadium pentoxide or you can also use platinum uh, balance this 2so2 plus o2 gives you 2so3 okay so this is 2019 next 2018 ionic or electrovalent compounds do not conduct electricity in their solid state electrolysis of aqueous or sodium chloride solution will form dash at the cathode see aqueous sodium chloride aqueous means they will be na plus as well as h plus h plus where it came from from water water will form oh minus chloride is there so between sodium and hydrogen hydrogen ion will migrate faster discharge faster preferential discharge so you will get hydrogen gas at the cathode cathode is negatively charged so cation will move there dry hydrogen chloride gas can be collected by dash displacement of air dry hydrogen chloride it is heavier than air so upward displacement the most common ore of iron is hematite calamine is for zinc zinc carbonate is called as calamine this one leave okay come here this is interesting uh copy and complete what they have given here refers to the conversion of ions to neutral particles so you have to write ionic equation and you have to mention whether they are oxidation or reduction chloride ion to chlorine molecule chloride ion i will write here cl minus you have to convert it into cl2 so for to do this we need two cl minus when it can form this when it loses two electrons when one chloride ion lose one electron it will form chlorine atom so two chloride ion lose two electrons it will form chlorine molecule losing of electron oxidation is loss loss of electron so this is what oxidation okay don't have confusion lead to ion to lead second equation i will write here lead to plus two ion you have to convert it into lead pb so it will accept two electrons and becomes lead so reduction is gain of electron so this is reduction okay done come to the next one see organic chemistry nice this kind of question if it comes very easy i p is name of the homologous series cn h2n minus 2 is what alkyne cn h2n plus 2 is alkane cn h2n if it is alkene characteristic type of bond carbon carbon triple bond triple covalent bond here single covalent bond okay iup is the name of the first member first member of alkyne is not methane methane does not exist it is ethane but for alkane it is methane first member of alkene if you take ethene okay this much yes next 2017 2017 energy required whenever you come across energy required it's always ionization potential energy re released means electron affinity 
in the first sentence first three words only you have to get the answer okay the compound that does not have a lone pair of electrons c this is i think little not correct question because water h2o has two lone pairs ammonia nh3 nitrogen has two lone pairs carbon tetrachloride obviously chlorine will have three lone pairs every chlorine atom it also has lone pairs they should mention here okay at the central atom because oxygen here central atom nitrogen here central atom carbon here central atom which are less in number okay so carbon do not have any lone pair so i based on this logic i can say the answer is carbon tetrachloride okay when a metallic oxide is dissolved in water the solution formed has a high concentration of metallic oxide means it will form hydroxide so oh minus potassium sulfite sulfite with hydrochloric acid sulfite will give you so2 gas compound formed when ethene reacts with hydrogen ethene and hydrogen this is hydrogenation of alkene so you will get respect to alkene that is ethane ethane is c2h6 okay done next fill in the blank this also i considered as i told you cation that does not form a precipitate with ammonium hydroxide but forms one with calcium hydro sodium hydroxide that is calcium plus 2 ion the electrolyte used for electroplating an article with silver very important mm. sodium argento cyanide remember the formula also na ag cn twice you have to write it like this only square bracket huh? particles present in a liquid such as kerosene that is non electrolyte and non electrolyte what are their molecules only molecules only organic compound containing coh functional group what is this functional group carboxylic acid a solid formed by a reaction of two gases one of which is acidic and another one is basic acidic gas is hcl basic gas is nh3 when uh, hcl and nh3 combine they will form the solid ammonium chloride so you have to write the name ammonium chloride organic compound containing coh functional group i have written carboxylic acid you can also write any name like ethanoic acid okay methanoic acid ethanoic acid any organic compound containing coh group okay come here a b c d e identify each of them okay i will write here a hcl gas ammonia gas reactants used hcl they have given nacl plus h2so4 okay products formed in this um what are the products nahso4 plus hcl that is a drying is in con sulfuric acid method of collection b how do you collect hcl gas by upward displacement of air full you have to write upward displacement of air okay come to ammonia ammonia here c c is what reactants used you have to see the products based on that you have to see the reactants because there are two methods forming ammonia here products magnesium hydroxide and ammonia means you have to take magnesium nitride magnesium nitride is mg3n2 plus water warm okay so when these two react they will give us ammonia and magnesium hydroxide come to d drying isn't used for ammonia is quick lime quick lime because they have given conch h2so4 i will write cao e method of collection downward displacement of air downward displacement of air how to remember hcl is heavy so when it is heavy if you leave that hcl gas in this jar containing air so it will settle down so air will go up so that's why upward displacement of air ammonia gas is lighter than air so if you do like this ammonia will escape so you have to do inverted jar so when you pass ammonia here 
ammonia is lighter so it will store here so air will go out like this so air is coming down means it is downward displacement of air okay there is one more it seems here yeah. complete the following the metal which does not react with water or dilute sulfuric acid but reacts with constant sulfuric acid it should be copper because constant sulfuric acid is oxidizing agent so it will oxidize copper to copper plus 2 the metal whose uh, see all aluminium zinc and iron they are active copper is below hydrogen reactivity series hence it cannot displace it uh, displace hydrogen from acid or the water the metal whose oxide which is amphoteric is reduced to metal by carbon reduction see iron is not amphoteric magnesium not amphoteric lead and aluminium oxides are amphoteric but aluminium we learned about aluminium metal extraction what we use there we use electrolysis process right hall herald electrolysis process you convert oxide of aluminium into aluminium that's what the reduction right not carbon so therefore it should be lead lead oxide to lead you can use carbon the divalent metal whose oxide is just to see divalent metal aluminium trivalent sodium monovalent potassium monovalent magnesium is the divalent so that should be your answer so here copper okay so next last 2016 fill in the blanks with choices given in brackets metals are good reducing agents because they are electron donors right metals do give electrons readily so therefore they are they are undergoing oxidation hence they are reducing agents electrovalent compounds have dash melting point high because electrovalent bond is very strong why because uh, attraction between oppositely charged particles electrostatic force of attraction very strong bond higher the ph value of a solution the more dash it is alkaline okay dash a uh, white precipitate is soluble in excess ammonium hydroxide very very important silver chloride is a white precipitate and it is soluble in ammonium hydroxide excess ammonium hydroxide whereas pbcl2 is also white but it will not be soluble conversion of ethene to ethane is an example of ethene to ethane so adding hydrogen so hydrogenation hydrogenation okay rewrite the ionization potential of potassium is dash that of sodium lena k so potassium is below um sodium ionization potential what happens down the group it decreases so ionization potential should be less than less than so it should be less than sodium the electronegativity of iodine is dash that of chlorine c again f c l b r i down the group what happens electronegativity decreases means iodine ha is less electronegative than that of chlorine so the electronegativity of iodine is less than that of chlorine less than that of chlorine okay fill in the blanks if an element has a low ionization energy then it is likely to be metallic now now you know this if an element has seven electrons in its outermost shell then it is likely to have the dash atomic size among all the elements in the same period so in the same period across the period what happens atomic size decreases due to increase in the nuclear charge so it should be smallest because it has seven electrons halogens will have smallest size in the given period fill in the blanks using a broad words so here words are given in the bracket cold dilute nitric acid reacts with copper to give very important cold dilute nitric acid will give us nitrogen monoxide that is nitric oxide so here you have to write nitric oxide hot concentrated nitric acid reacts with sulfur to form sulfur to form means sulfuric acid it will give us sulfuric acid okay so these are the multiple choice questions from 2016 to 2020 hope it will be helpful for you
okay so we'll meet in the next session take care bye bye